So, almost time for you to get going, huh, Pud? So how's about we finish up early today, Bud? Hello everybody, and welcome back to Purple Plays The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time we uh, got the slingshot, we got a lantern, a wooden sword, we got quite a bit of stuff. Learned a few uh, areas to farm for rupees. Save Tallow and the monkey from a couple of moblins and other monsters. And in this episode, and on this day, we will be heading off for our delivery. But before that, we need to finish up work early today. So, let's go ahead and pick up some horse grass. And despite the lovely tattoo not being by our side, just a small little whistle from the grass sent her coming. Okay then, let's get started. And so today we have 20 goats. I don't think I'm going to be as lucky as I was the first time. But we'll see. Goat in. A little tip if you want to get this a little easier, don't keep whooping them, just let them circle, just circle them around to where you want to aim them, and then whoop them, just whoop them all into place. This little guy, alright, whoop those guys into shape. I believe if you keep whooping them constantly, They'll eventually start getting irritated and will attack you. I believe they'll ram you off of your horse. Although I don't remember very well, or if it's in this version of the game. I'm pretty sure it is. Why would they take out such a fun horse? But I'm not going to test it right now because I have a lot to go over. Well, in a sense. Don't want to waste any more time. But I'm already wasted. So, come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Get your ass in gear. Come on. Another thing you can do to do an 180 degree turn is that you hit back while you're on your course. Come on, get. You asshole. Ah. If you hit back on the control stick, uh, your horse will automatically start uh, jumping, and then if you keep holding back, or if you press back again, or in any direction in general actually, they will immediately turn in that direction until they land on their front two feet. So it's a pretty good way for turning, although it's just very slow and I'd rather be able to make my destination in one attempt, and unfortunately I wasn't able to save as much time as I wanted to, but whatever. I got it done. That's all 20. Boy, but you all can heard. That was 38 seconds faster than usual. Well, that about wraps up for wraps her up for today so how about y'all head on over to the mayor's place mayor isn't that far from here i'm just gonna avoid this and just hop the fence because there's nothing else here unless you want to practice on your fence your fence jumping you know well that thing although i don't think we'll have much use for fence hopping for a while Okay. That's not creepy. Look at that stash. That is not a trust stash. That is. Ugh. Cheekburns. Seriously, dude, grow a full mustache. You're embarrassing the whole village. Oh, nice work. I don't know what he said at the beginning because I was too busy making fun of the fact that he has no mustache. The royal gift Russell told us about is ready. So you should get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now the royal family requested this gift spe yeah, specifically, yeah, specifically, so it's real special. 
It'd be bad if the representative of Orden were to be late for such an occasion. You get me, lad? The path before you is a long one, my sweet horse. Please bear Pud safely along it. Wait, what's this? Muscle? What's happened? She's injured, isn't she? No, she isn't. I just... Pud, how could you? You were pushing Tattoo too hard again. I bet you hurt her leg jumping fences, didn't you? Hurt her leg. Now, now, Leo. Father! I couldn't read it fast enough. Quit auto-scrolling, game. How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor! You should start acting like one. You poor thing. I'll be alright, it'll be alright, Tattoo. I'll take you to the Forest Spring right now. Once we soothe you in the Spirit Spring, you'll feel better in no time. Wait, Leah! Why, without Tattoo, the gift won't get delivered in time. Hmm. Oh, this will not. I know I said it won't, but now fuck you. I can read it how I want. I'm also sorry if I hesitate when I'm reading. I try not to screw it up. And I always record at night. I should probably work around that schedule. But we'll see. Anyways, um, I believe there's nothing else we can do right now. If there is, then... Eh. At least in the village wise. Oh, there's Coconut Head. Bud, are you going to see Leah? Maybe it's just me. Those guys don't normally let people through. Bud, you think, you think you can go see Leah together? We can go see her. I don't know. Kind of ruined my rep. Now what's Beth got to say? Hi. Pud, hello again. Oh, oh, you're going to Hyrule Castle, aren't you, Pud? That must be so nice. I want to go to Hyrule Castle too. I mean, there's nothing that looks good on me in this town. Eh, no comment. Not like you look good in the first place, so there's my comment. Before we head off, head off to Hyrule, or to the spring, or wherever we're going, remember that basement? Well, we have that item that we can use, because when you go down here, it's pitch black go around and there's a whole lot of nothing can't interact with anything but if you have the lantern voila you can see and we have Link's stash his stash of 50 rupees he completely forgot no I didn't otherwise I wouldn't have come back for him anyways put away your lamp so you don't lose up any more oil and now we have 107 We're going to want to collect at least 200, and I think we'll have plenty of time to do that, so don't worry. But if you want to just go ahead and do it, well, then you do it. Or I think it's 150. I could be wrong. I don't know. You'll see why in a bit. Hey, we've been waiting for you, you know, Pud? Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey was great. I was just telling Mallow here about how he wanted to show it to him, but well, we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Tallow. Oh, Colin. Way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad. Something awful. I thought it was never going to end. But you're trying to go see Leah, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Oh, hey, neat. Pud, let me borrow that wooden sword. If I'd had that wooden sword yesterday, I could have handled it all alone, definitely. Come on, let me borrow the wooden sword right now. If you say no, he's just going to throw his little temper tantrum like he did before when I told him no. I'm not even With this thing, I'll show him. I'll show all of them. And then the village will be mine. Pud? 
Thanks. Those guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that around? I hate it. It's scary. Even though your dad does it. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Pud. A mute that hates everybody and swings his sword constantly at people because it's fun. They just say you don't like swords. I don't want to learn about swords or anything. Well, can you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? Can you? You have to promise. I ain't promising you nothing. I don't even like tattoo. Well, actually, yeah, I take that back. I do. Hey, there's a squirrel. Wow, I want see the squirrel. Oh, it's fading out. I wonder why. Oh well, that squirrel there? Oh yeah, he's still there. Come here, you bastard. Damn it. I still can't pick him up. Oh well. Better head off to go get my horse back. And now the Rolling Chronicles. All the birds and squirrels and grass and vines and all this other crap. And the gate's locked. Wow. Pud! You came back to take Tattoo, you can forget it. Why don't you think about what you've done for a change? I won't open the gate until you change your attitude. You're the one with the attitude. Put some shoes on. Jeez. Leah, you don't know what happened yesterday. Listen, I don't know if she'll listen to me, but let me try to explain about Tallow and the monkey, okay? You can crawl in here. I heard that! No, you didn't. There's no... thing. Also, if you couldn't hear the whisper that I did in the mic... Sorry, I guess. I... Uh, first person. Oh, well. Anyways, there's certain crawl spaces that you can use. Well, we're all in here. We'll be seeing more as we go along our adventure, but not too many that I'm aware of. As far as I'm aware of, it's just mandatory, mandatory things like this. I had no idea. I hadn't heard details about Talon's capture. A coconut. I keep switching between that and I. Or am I just gonna call him coconut when I feel like it? Man. So you still prefer your master over me, huh, Tattoo? Well, obviously, because I'm the damn master. Don't worry about your horse, bud. Fortunately, it looks like the injury isn't too soon. You two can go on together. The pud... Can you at least promise me this? No matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your Please? Just come home, Steve. Wait, was that supposed to be a question? Because there's no question. Well, I'm not agreeing to anything, because nothing's out of Pud's like, Oh god. That gate was out of there. And... Okay, watch it. Ow. Ow. Well. I'm surprised I'm not bleeding. And I'm surprised I'm not being eaten either. I'm pretty sure boars will eat people. Maybe I just don't taste well. And all of a sudden... That. What the hell is that? Who are these people? What the fuck's going on around here? Well, I better wake up. Oh, yep, I'm up. Well, that was a short nap. Or was it a long nap? I really don't know. But my horse is gone, the barefoot lady's gone, and my coconut is gone. I am going to save you, coconut. And I will deliver you back to your fascia. Oh, and I'll get you. Okay, what's going on here? 
giant black wall that was never here before with ancient symbols or something. And giant black hand that pops up and grabs me. Am I going to hell? Dead. <laughs> Oh god. The hell are you? You smell fun. And oh there's my tattoo. Okay, well that was just rude. Had to throw me. This place looks lovely. Oh god. That must have hurt my jaw like crazy. Or just my face. It's like, how would it feel growing a snout? Oh yeah, I'm also very hairy now. But that's good, I always wanted to grow some chest hair. Of dreads. Why do I have dreads? Oh well. Ooh, who's that? I wonder. They got nice hair though. Of course I'd like to save. I also have an earring. Even though I'm a wolf. Oh yeah, I'm a wolf now. Yay! Alright. So, we can, nope. Well, we can, nope. Well, how about, nope. Just wander around a little, do a bite, and they'll trigger this cutscene. Oh, who's this? Well, hello there. I found you! Oh, no, I found you. Ooh, aren't you scary? Are you sure you want to be doing that? Snarling and glaring at me? Well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you, if you were nice. That's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? Oops, but you aren't a human anymore, are you? You're a beast! I will do it in the lab, I may do it in the lab. There, there, you'd be a good boy and calm down. No need to bite. <laughs> you look kind of surprised. So, I bet you're wondering where exactly you are we? Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can get over here, maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> Alright, my lady. I will do just that. Alright, so, we are a wolf. They're a lot faster. We can bite and do a tail whip. It doesn't lower defense. We can dash and we can dig with the Y button. So we need to figure out how to get out of here. Our only other option besides biting and bumping into the wall is digging. Well, let's get this debris out of the way because it's just out of place. But if you look over here, we can just squeeze our way out, and that wasn't too hard, that wasn't. Where'd she go? Oh, goodbye. Oh, <laughs> I guess you're not completely stupid after all. Well, I wasn't stupid to get it. Listen, I like you, so I think I'll get you out of here. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. Need anything from me? Just press L to give me a sign. So, are we clear? Good. Now come on, get moving. Ah. 
Now I know how my horse feels. So you press L. Right, that's the way. If you ever need my help, just press the L to call. As long as you're a good boy, I'll be happy to lend a hand. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think we can waste a little bit more time. So, we have a prompt to press L. Huh? What's that? Try pressing ZL, after all. I mean, after that, well, you'll figure it out. So, you lock onto it, and you jump at it. Fighting it, and we pull levers like that way. We do that, just like we tech them. So, we'll lead to this pathway. We're going into the sewers. Oh, there's an ominous blue flame. Oh, well, well. Want to see something interesting? You're a beast, remember? Press X to hone your senses and poke around. So, we have another ability. Press the X button and whoa! <sighs> Can't run any farther. That's far enough, right? I'll be safe here. I think. What was that noise? Don't. Don't anything come near me! Yeah, I'm just gonna stray away from you. That was a soldier spirit. Maybe it's someone from the other world. <laughs> there are other spirits roaming around here, you know? Hone your senses will X to see them. They might know things. Yeah, so if there's anything that you're stuck at that you can't see, or if there's some something like an ominous blue flame, or anything peculiar, just press the X button to hone in on your senses. This will also depict certain digging spots, and another thing we'll be getting into much later in the game. Oh, we got a little enemy, like a little squid. Didn't need to run into that. Rupee. Fight this. Alright. Okay. I don't know what kind of skull that is. Alright. Five rupees. Okay. So. I doubt you're used to your new body yet, so I'll just tell you. Think about how you fought enemies in your human form. Just because your shape has changed doesn't mean your instincts have as well. I believe that's just hinting at, regardless whether you're human or a beast, you can always just attack with the B button. There's something in there too. Yes, and also if you hold the B button down, we'll go into a stance, and if you let go, we'll do a quick spin attack. I don't think it has the same range as your regular, but who knows. No, nope, I see you. And I dodged him, okay. Oh, nope, I'm out of here. Remember, this is hero mode, so these guys do plenty of damage and are very aggressive too. There we go. Now remember, no hearts. And as a wolf, we have no items. That's going to make a certain task very difficult later on. Very, very difficult indeed. And yes, I will be doing it. An exclusive to the HD version. Oh god, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. We got another soldier. Where are those black things? Where are they coming from? And how do we get out of here? I don't know, you probably go the same way you came, dumbass. Oh, where are you going? This way, over here. I'll be waiting for you, but you'll have to help yourself for a change. Oh, thanks. Then again, it's not like you were doing too much for me to begin with. All you do is just interrupt. Anyways, open this just to get more enemies. Oh god. Oh god, I am not dying here. Nope. 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 So much more. 
All it takes is one more hit and I'll die. Low fun fact, I actually got two game overs here on my uh, practice session. So, I should probably tell you that I do not want to do that while I'm actually recording. Okay. I see you. I'm not even going to deal with you. Just gonna go the passive route. And now that the water is sunk, we have a little crawl space. And don't worry, because enemies usually aren't in, here, in the crawl space anymore. So, and just like I said earlier, the senses allow you to figure out digging spots, which will pull out things like rupees and hearts. But just like I said, this is hero mode. So, you won't find hearts, only rupees and maybe other things. Please, I'm but a lowly soldier. Please, someone save me from these evil creatures. I'm not even that. Okay, yeah, you just go ahead and be a coward. Aw, uh, did the detour tire you out, little wolf? By the way, are you using eggs to hone your senses like you should? It looks like the spirits in here, they're all soldiers. Where in the world could we be? <laughs> One out of here, right? Okay, we're off. We are indeed. So where are we exactly? What is this weird ash that's floating up into the sky? Why is everything just... Why are there spirits all around these sewers? Who abducted us? All these and more, we'll find out in the next episode of Purple Plays The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. See you guys next time.